Good morning, FHS. I'm Josh. And I'm Alex with your Thursday morning news. This week, Monday through Thursday, there will be a table at all three lunches for students to write a thank you note to a teacher in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. All notes will be delivered to teachers during this following week. Any athlete who played three sports this year should see Mr. Osborne to give him your t-shirt size for being a triathlete. Stop by the athletic office today. Testing out forms for the 2018-19 school year are available in the high school counseling office. The testing out form must be completed and returned by Friday, May 11th to the FHS counseling office. Testing out packets will be available in the counseling office the last week of school. Summer school registration forms are available in the counseling office starting this Wednesday, May 2nd. After you have met with your counselor to confirm your course, you can turn your money in and form into the counseling office. Registration ends once seats are occupied. Seniors, we are still working on filming for your senior video. The filming for this video will be completed by the end of next week. If you have not scheduled your filming with your friends, please see Maddie Hogman or Gracie Lutz. Also, seniors, we would like photos of you and your friends, current or old, for the senior video. Please email those to Payton Zeros, Brooke Hine, Katrina, Sister, Vivi. All yeah. pictures need to be submitted by May 9th. Attention to any boy that wants to play varsity basketball next winter. If you are interested in going to Hope Team Camp from June 14th to June 16th, you need to see Coach Jonas by May 4th. Tomorrow's national... Stand for Change Day. At 12 o'clock tomorrow, we ask that all students stand for change against bullying. In sports, the Fowlville boys and track team remain undefeated in the CAAC White, defeating Williamson 72-65 for the first time since 2004. The Gladiators were led by dominating performances across all events. Seth Chapman anchored the winning 1600 meter relay team that led to the seven-point victory for the Gladiators. Chapman also won the 400 meter in season record time of 52-27. Chris Davis won the 1600 meter and the 3200 meter in convincing fashion, while Caleb Molesky swept the hurdle events, going 17:49 in the 110 meter hurdles, and setting a personal best of 43:41 in the 300 meter hurdles. Hayden Schlump won the high jump in 5:10. The Gladiator team of Elias, Seth Chapman, Josh Lisalan, and Nick Reason won the 1600 meter relay, and the team of Chris Davis, Elias, Jacob Navazny, and Caden Collins won the 3200 meter relay to score 10 points. The Purple Baton awarded to the most improved athlete of the meet was earned by sophomore Garrett Shermo. Garrett jumped a two foot personal best in the long jump going 17, 10, and five inches. The Gold Baton awarded to the most outstanding performance in the meet went to se senior Seth Chapman. Seth won the 400 meter with a season best of 52-27 and anchored the 1600 meter relay to victory. The Gladiators continue on Friday, May 4th to Stockbridge Invitational, then travel to Ionia on Monday, May 7th. Go Glads! The Fowlerville girls track and field lost for the first time this season to a very talented Williamson team, 100-37. The Gladiators are 1-1 one one in the CAC White. Ali Updike led the Gladiators with wins in the 1600 and the 3200. Courtney Reif won the 100 meter high hurdles with a season best time of 18.17 seconds. Delasia Franklin was second in the 100 meters with a time of 14.10 seconds. Kyla Chapel was second in the 400 meter with a time of 61.36 seconds. Emily Hootmacher was second in the 3200 with a time of 14 minutes 5 seconds. Gabby Jolliffe was second in the high jump jumping 4'8", and Mackenzie Brigham was second in the long jump, jumping 16 feet, 2 and a half inches. The Purple Baton, awarded to the most improved athlete in the meet, was earned by freshman Abby Huck. Abby jumped a 4-inch personal best in the long jump, going 4'6". Excuse me, 14'6". The Gold Baton, awarded to the most outstanding performance in the meet, went to senior Ollie Updike. Ali won the 1600 meter and the 3200 meter run. The Gladiators continue on Friday, May 4th at the Stockbridge Invitational, then travel to Ionia on Monday, May 7th. Have a spectacular, fantastic day, FHS. I'm Alex. I'm Josh, signing off.